Mike Mebley is with us. Mike, it's, the investiture ceremony was held today. President Biden was there. Yeah, that's right, Jose. This is obviously, as we know, the Supreme Court conducts so much of its official business outside of the view of the public. So we have no cameras in the in the court itself today to see this historic moment, the investiture of the first black woman ever to sit on the Supreme Court. But this is a significant moment. Now, Justice Jackson, she has been uh, already sworn in, and she was in July after her confirmation by the Senate in April to be on the bench. Uh, but this really marks the official start of the Supreme Court's new term and her participation as now one of the nine members of the Supreme Court. Now, President Biden is, as you say, in attendance, as is the First Lady, Dr. Jill Biden, the Vice President, Kamala Harris, her husband as well. This is obviously something the White House is eager to highlight as well. You know, Jose, the president made that key promise during the campaign to nominate the first black woman for the Supreme Court. He obviously did that, saw her successfully confirmed. The White House wants to use this moment also to shine a light on the president's broader record of nominating and confirming members of federal courts more broadly. The White House pointing out the president has nominated 143 federal judges, 68 percent of whom are women, 66 percent of whom are individuals of color, and that he's nominated 13 other black women to circuit court judgeships. So really significant progress from the perspective of the White House as it relates to the federal judiciary. Now